I really get the great pleasure of traveling around Michigan and giving a lot of talks on a whole variety of natural resources. And I can tell you one of the unifying things that I hear from 9.8 million people across Michigan and, and the collective piece is we do not want Asian carp in the Great Lakes. I think that's clear, that's loud, and that's consistent, and that's in every community that I visit, whether it's in Muskegon, stem to stern, top to bottom, left to right, up and down, all the way through. This and other meetings held across the region provide important opportunities for the public to be heard on how best to guard against the imminent threat, and it is an imminent threat of invasive carp entering Lake Michigan. We in the Great Lakes region have a shared responsibility for this unique natural resource. The answer to invasion carp threat should be a shared one as well. Through collaboration and regional, regional cooperation, we, as we have in the past, we've been able to successfully address a number of big issues. I'll give you one example. The Great Lakes Compact is a key example of the way states, provinces, the region has come together uh, to protect again the lakes, in this case against unwanted withdrawals of water. That kind of cooperation is essential in the case of invasive carp. There are solutions, and we will find those solutions together. Uh, we need to find out to, uh, for these problems that pose threat to the Lake Michigan and the entire Great Lakes Basin and beyond. We have seen the damage that invasive carp has caused in the Illinois waterway systems. We should do everything in our power and our collective power to make sure that problem does not spread and certainly spread into the Great Lakes. We appreciate all the good work that has been done to date by government and non-government organizations with an interest in protecting the Great Lakes. At the same time, we know that we have not done enough and we have not gone far enough. The recent finding of the silver carp in the Chicago area waterway system just nine miles from Lake Michigan illustrates that the current safeguards are not working and that there are current failures in the system. It is not adequate to protect us, and we know that as the case. Because of this, Lake Michigan strongly supports additional meaningful measures at Brandon Road, Lock and Dam. Those proposed measures present another important step forward, but we also believe that those are not adequate over the long term. We believe those are short and intermediate term solutions that we need to focus on. We think the long term solution for Brandon Road and for the management of Asian Park is, is a long term path towards a two way separation of the Great Lakes and Mississippi Basin, based on for the protection of both uh, flows of invasive species in both directions, as the national crisis of invasive species are. This is deeply concerning to us, and we know that we need to move ahead together. Thank you for the cooperation and the opportunity to address an issue that's so vitally important to all of us in the Great Lakes region. The Office of the Great Lakes and the State of Michigan will continue to work with you as we have uh, continue, uh, regularly to protect this natural resource treasure for future generations. Thank you. Angela Ayers, Office of Governor Rick Snyder, 48909.